are going to, uh, we're going to press in uh, in that regard. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's do that. Amen. If somebody could give me a point, a countdown on where we are. Amen. Lead the ministry. I need communication. Amen. So let me know. Amen. Come on. Father, we thank you and we bless you tonight. Come on. We welcome our virtual church tonight. Amen. God bless you. Come on. Can we clap our hands all over the building tonight? We bless God for those who are sharing uh, here as well. We greet you. Uh, bring my music down just a bit. We greet you in divine love uh, on uh, tonight. This is First Wednesday. And every first Wednesday, uh, we have uh, obeyed the voice of the Lord in sharing with us that we should corporately consecrate before we do ministry, before we uh, go out and believe God uh, for what it is that he's going to do uh, every month. We're going to bathe and be very intentional uh, about prayer. And so I want to ask each and every one of us today, whether you're live or online, uh, to lock in for the next 30 minutes or so. Uh, as we go to God uh, in prayer. Amen. How many of you are expecting God to do some great things in the month of September? Amen. If you're in the chat, I want you to go ahead and put uh, better things, amen, in the comments, if you don't mind. Put better things, better things, better things. Amen. If you're live in the sanctuary, I want you to open up your mouth and I want you to begin to declare that better things, amen, better things. I believe God has better things concerning us uh, this year and this month rather uh, and so I thank and bless God for that listen many people in our live sanctuary right now are moving to our prayer wall they are putting in petitions they're putting in whatever it is that they're believing God for in the month of September and I want to encourage and exhort each and every one of you that's watching us uh, live stream whether on YouTube or on Facebook I want you now uh, wherever it is in your journal, I want you to write it down. Whatever it is that you are believing God for, uh, we're going to, uh, of course, petition God. The Bible says in Matthew 7, he says, ask. This is what he tells the believer. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be open for you. Amen. Somebody shout victory. Amen. Yeah, that's what he says. He says, ask, and it shall be given to you. He says, seek and you shall find. He says, knock and the door shall be open for you. That's A-S-K. Ask, seek, knock. Amen. Everybody say that with me. Ask, seek, knock. Come on, put that in the comments one more time. Say it. Ask, seek, knock. Amen. Some of us, I know it's the ninth month of this year, and you have been believing God for some things to transpire and to take place in your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, and God told us, listen, to ask, to seek, and to knock. Amen. When you really look at that particular scripture and, 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 and look at the language there, uh, it doesn't just mean to ask one time. The language there infers that we should ask and keep on asking. We should seek and keep on seeking. Hallelujah. We shall knock and what? Keep on knocking. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, keep asking. Keep asking. Ask, seek, knock. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so we are relentless. Amen. In our pursuit of the promise of God. And I believe that God is sharing with us this month uh, to, to expect better. Amen. As we're asking, as we're seeking, as we're knocking, as we're waiting, amen, as we're standing in faith, God says better for each and every one of us. And we're going to pray that uh, even on tonight. I want you to see this now in Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6. We were praying this just on yesterday uh, in our morning devotion. Uh, Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6 in the New Living Translation, it says, but now Jesus, our high priest, thank you, Holy Ghost, has been given a ministry that is far superior to the old priesthood. For he is the one who mediates us a far better covenant with God. He says, based on better promises. Amen. So in Christ, we have a better covenant. And in Christ, we have better promises. Are y'all ready to pray tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. I feel a spectator spirit somewhere uh, streaming. Say a better covenant. Amen. 
and say it better promises. Amen. What's the better covenant? The better covenant now is not based on my behavior. The better covenant now is based on what Jesus has already finished for me at the cross. Somebody ought to be clapping their hands right now. The better covenant is not in how good I've been this week or this month. The better covenant is how good Jesus was, how perfectly obedient even unto death Jesus was. Amen. And that's our celebration. That's our expectation. That there is the promise that God gives unto the righteous, the better covenant that comes through Jesus Christ. Amen. Say that again better. Amen. Let me encourage you to stand to your feet now. Amen. As we would take our postures of prayer before uh, we begin, uh, Sister Portia is going to lead us in a time of adoration in just a moment. Just as she's coming, I want us to begin to wherever we are, and you can do this digitally. I want you to just begin to clap your hands, and I want to give God the fruit of your lips. Come on, all over the house of the Lord now. You can bring the music up just a bit. Come on, all over the house of the Lord. I want you to do this now. Don't just clap your hands. Listen to the instructions. Clap your hands and give God the fruit of your lips. Amen. Come on, let's do both. You can do both at the same time. There it is. God, I love you. Hallelujah. God, you're amazing. That's the fruit of your lips. Come on, let's adore him today. Come on, Sister Portia, lead us in that on today. Come on, everybody's clapping their hands. Everybody is opening their mouths. Hallelujah, God. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and lift up your voice. Clap your hands. Yes. And we lift up your voice. Hallelujah. We give you our hands and we give you our voice, God. God, we love you. Yeah, we love you, God. God, you're a good God. You're a good God. Yes, God. God, there's no one like Nobody you, God. Nobody like you, God. Hallelujah. Father, we lift your name high oh, tonight. Oh, we lift you high. We lift you high, Father God. Father God, we thank you, God. Oh, we we you. honor you, God, for who you Hallelujah. are in our life, God. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, declare yeah, your Abba Father. Our Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Hey. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Oh, we love you, God. God, we worship you. We worship you, God. God, we thank you. We declare yes. that you're good, God. Yes, you're good. That you're good in all your ways. Hallelujah. God, you're good to us in our bad times, God. You're good to us, Father God, you, God, at all times. God, we thank you. We love you, God. Somebody just thank God, for we, we serve a up, good God. God, a great God. We magnify He's you, He's worthy to be praised. We glorify you, God. He's worthy to be praised, God. We Hallelujah. thank you. Yeah. We thank you right now, Father yeah, God. God. We Hallelujah. declare now, God, that you're mighty. You're mighty, God. God, you're mighty, God. Hallelujah. You're mighty in battle, God. Yes, God. You're mighty, God. There's no one, yes. Father God, who can defeat you, God. Yes, we thank God. you right now, God. Hallelujah. For you are mighty, God. You are mighty, Somebody God. worship. Thank God that we serve a mighty God. Mighty God. God, we thank you, God. Yeah. We thank you right now. Hallelujah, yeah. Lord God. Yeah. You are the God of peace, God. Yeah. Yeah. God, you are our peace, God. Yes, yes. Lord, in, a, in times of confusion, we thank you that we can stand and rest in peace, yes, God. God. You are our peace. Someone say that now. God, you are, you are my, my peace, peace God. God. Yes. God, you're my peace, God. Hallelujah. Somebody needs the peace of God right now. Always God said, you are my Almighty peace. God. Yes, God yes, says, yes. I'm your peace, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you right now that you are a healer, yeah, God. God. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, God, for you are a healer, yeah, God. God. We yeah, thank you, yeah. God, that there's nothing too hard for oh, you, God. We for thank you, you that you never leave us nor yes. forsake us, God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord God. Lord, we thank you that you are a refuge, God. You are our, our place of refuge. Hallelujah. Somebody needs a refuge tonight. Yeah. God welcomes you in. He yeah. said, I am your refuge. Thank you for Somebody being thank God. God, you are my refuge, thank God. You for being From refuge, every God. storm, God, every Hallelujah. battle, God, every affliction, yeah. God. Yeah. We thank you that we find yeah. rest in your arms. Yeah. We cry out, Abba Father, God. Hey, God. Abba Father, we love you, God. Yeah, we love God, you. we love you, Jesus. Yes. God, we wouldn't be here without you, God. Yes, yes, we yes. thank you for breath in our body. Breath, God, Somebody breath, just God. begin to declare, God, we love you. Yeah. Say it from your heart. God, we love you with all our heart, God, and all our soul, God, and all our mind, God, with everything in us, God. God, we love you, Jesus. God, we love you, God. We declare now, Father God, that you're worthy of our praise, God. You're worthy of our praise, God. You're worthy of our praise. When 
when we're tired in our body, God, you're worthy of our praise, God. When it doesn't look like we think it should look, God, you're worthy of our praise. Yeah. When we're still, Lord God, when we feel weak, we thank you yeah. that you give us strength, God, yeah. and you're yeah. still worthy to be praised. Yeah. You're worthy to be praised, God. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, God, yeah. you are our joy, God, and we yeah. thank you, God, that we Hallelujah. find joy in you, God. Yeah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Somebody God. thank him right now yeah. for the joy we have in him. Oh. Father, we thank you, God, that our Hallelujah. circumstance doesn't determine Hallelujah. our joy, God. We thank you right now, yeah. God, that we have joy because of you, God, a joy that the world didn't give us, God, and a joy that the world can't take away. Somebody needs to say that right now to your circumstance. God has given me joy, and the world can't take it from me. No man can take it from me. God, we love you, God. We love you. You're a keeper, God. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you, God, that you keep us, God. Thank you for your protection, God. God, you're a protector. God, you are our protector. God, we say thank you. Somebody thank God for protecting you from danger seen and unseen. God, we thank you right now, God. Things could be worse, God, but we thank you, God. We thank you right now, God, for everything that you've done, God. Thank you, God. We thank you right now, God, for every provision, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for the food to eat, God. Lord, we thank you, God, that you feed us, God, that you care for us, God. Father, we thank you for the activity of our limbs, God. Somebody thank God. God, we thank you. God, we thank you right now, God. God, we honor you, God. We honor you in all your ways, God. You're God, you're worthy to be honored, God. We honor you, God. We lift you above, Father God, everything we desire. Somebody, to God, we love you, God, more than the things we have our affection towards. God, we set our affection towards you, God. God, we need you, God. We love you, God. We want more of you, God. More of you, God. Thank you right now, God. Oh, yes. God, we just say hallelujah, hallelujah God. Hallelujah, God. You are our high priest, God. Hallelujah, we God. We thank you right now, God. Yeah, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. You're such a good God. What a wonderful thank God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. You're wonderful, God. Yes, God. We declare you're wonderful. Wonderful, God. God, we declare you are wonderful. Yes, God. God, we declare you are wonderful, God. Hallelujah. You are wonderful, God. Yes, you are. And because you're wonderful, yeah. God, we know we can rest, God. Yes, we rest we in you. We thank you, God, for giving us we rest, thank you, God. God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of we Jesus. We thank you, God. Yes. Dear Lord God, that you calm our spirits, yes, God. God. Dear Lord God, we thank you for keeping Settle us in God. our right mind, God. Settle, God. Yes, God. We Settle, declare God. now, God. Settle, Settle God. us, God. In the yes. name of Jesus. Settle in the name Lord, of Jesus. Lord, hallelujah. Hey, la, ba, ba, You're so da, worthy, God. Hallelujah. You're so worthy, God. Yeah. We love you, God. Yeah. And we magnify you, magnify God. Your we name. magnify you. Oh, glory, yes. God. Glory, hallelujah, Glory. God. Glory, God. Glory, Glory hallelujah, God. Glory. Hallelujah, God. Hey, God Somebody yeah, get God. lost in your love for hey, God. God. Glory, God. Hallelujah. Well, we welcome you in, God. Yes, yes. Have your way, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes. Oh, God, we bless Ooh, your name. Spirit, we, we bless your name, Holy God. Spirit, we, we are the only true and living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah Lord. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Yeah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you and we honor you, God. We honor you, God. Come on, clap your hands. He's worthy to be adored. Come on, continue right there. We, he's worthy to be adored. You're incredible, God. You are mighty, God. You are awesome, God. You are high and lifted up. You are the most high. El Elyon is your name. You are the most high. El Elyon is your name. You are the most high, God. El Elyon is your name. There is no power greater than yours. There is no God higher than you, Lord God. You are El Elyon. Call his name. You are the most high, God. We thank you right now, Lord God, that your power is higher and superior, Lord. Your strength, Lord, is higher 
higher and superior, Lord God. We thank God we have a great God. We have a living God. We have a moving God. We have a God who speaks to us, Lord God. So we thank you for a speaking God today. Somebody thank God today. We have a God that will speak. We have a God that will respond. We have a God that will show up. We have a God that will manifest on. We say manifest, Lord. We say speak this month, Lord God. We say stir your power in us, oh God. We love you, God. We bless you, God. We adore you right now, God. We lift you up right now, God. We say hallelujah, God. We say hallelujah, God. Come on, I give you my energy tonight. I give you the waving of my hands tonight. I give you the activity of my limbs tonight. I give you the lifting of my voice tonight. You can have it all. You're worthy of it tonight. Come on, somebody say you're worthy, God. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy, God. Come on, open up your mouth. You're worthy, God. You're worthy of my pressing in tonight. You're worthy of my consecration tonight. You're worthy of my pause in the middle of my week tonight, God. You're worthy tonight. Somebody say you're worthy, God. You're worthy. You're worthy. Despite what we've seen and what we've faced and what we've had to come through, Lord God, we come tonight to say you're worthy. We come tonight to say we still believe. We come tonight to say, God, hallelujah and glory to your name. Clap your hands and shout glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Come on, say it. Glory to your name, God. Come on, you are the great God. Glory to your name. There's no God like Jehovah. Hallelujah. There's no God like Jehovah. He is high and he is lifted up. There is no God like Jehovah. We love you, Lord God. We bless your holy name tonight, Lord God. We just adore you, Lord. We thank you because you're doing so much for us, Lord. Even we don't realize it, Lord. You are working on our behalf. We thank you that you're keeping us, Lord God. We thank you that you're fighting on our behalf, Lord God. We thank you that you're always working betterment, Lord God, and never for our demise, oh God. We have a great God. We have a God that loves us. We have a God that lifts us up. We have a God that graces us every morning and we give you the glory, God. Come on, somebody give him the glory right there. Hallelujah, God. You're worthy, God. Come on, give him the fruit of your lips. I can't thank you enough, Lord God. I'm glad to have this time corporately, Lord God, where I can bathe in adoration, where I can reflect on how good my God is. Where I can tell my problems, my God is incredible. Where I can tell the devil, my God comes through every time. My God always shows up. My God always puts me in a better situation. I thank you, God, that some things happened that wasn't good. But I thank you, you gave me the best of every bad situation, Lord. You turned everything in my favor, Lord God. Somebody ought to bless him tonight because he's turned things in your favor. Somebody ought to give him glory tonight because you didn't deserve what you got, but he gave you the best of a bad situation. I thank you for it tonight, Lord God. In spite of all my faults, in spite of all of my frailties, in spite of my, all of my inconsistencies, you are a God that loves unconditionally. You are a God that loves consistently. And I thank you tonight. And I bless you tonight. And I thank you for what you're doing tonight, Lord God. I need you to clap your hands because God is doing a work in you. I thank you right now that God is making you stronger. I thank you that God is making us more mature. I thank you that God is transitioning us from grace to grace. God is transitioning us from revelation to revelation. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Speak, Holy Spirit, in this place tonight. Speak to my heart, O oh God. Consecrate my ears, oh God. Sharpen my spirit, oh God, because I want to follow you, oh God. Oh, somebody love on him right now. Somebody lift him up right now. 
Somebody adore him right now. Come on, somebody online, begin to magnify him, Lord God. We magnify you, oh God. Yes, God. We magnify you, oh God. Come on, right there. We magnify you, oh God. We thank you for Jesus, our high priest. Yes, God. We thank you for the earthly priest. Oh, but we have a high priest. We thank you for our earthly spiritual leaders, but we have a high priest who has been given a more superior priesthood. Hallelujah. We thank you for Jesus tonight. Amen. Come on, somebody thank you for Jesus. If it had not been for Jesus, if it had not been for God loving us through him, where would we be? Come on, bless him right now. Hallelujah. Because you love me because of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord God, and we bless you tonight, hallelujah, that as we come to this brand new month, Lord God, we kneel and we pause and we consecrate our time in prayer, oh God, because we want to hear from you, Lord God. Father, we don't want to do what's good. We want to do what's best. We want to do what's in your will, Lord God. So we pause right now, Lord God, not just to say thank you, Lord God, but to let you know we are expecting from you this month, Lord God. God. We are expecting from you this month, Lord God. We want to hear from you this month, oh God. You are the living bread, Lord God. You are the air we breathe, oh God. You are the directions that we will follow, oh God. We thank you that this month, somebody shout this month, this month, this month, Lord God, we want you, God. This month, our heart wants you, Lord God. This month, we want to lean in your direction, oh God. This month, we want to do those things that's pleasing unto you, oh God. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Lord God, that as we come and we consecrate ourselves this month, Lord God, we thank you that as we kneel at your altar this month, oh God, we thank you that you're going to sharpen our hearing, Lord God. We thank you right now, Lord God, that you're going to strengthen us in our soul, Lord God. Thank you that last month, Lord God, you aligned our emotions. Last month, you showed us we have a thought even over feelings and even over sluggishness and even over depression, Lord God. And so we claim victory right now in the mighty name of Jesus that this shall be a month of victory for my soul. This shall be a month of victory in my mind. Hallelujah. I speak it no bad days in September. I speak strong days in September. I speak overcoming days in September. Come on, you better speak it. I speak victory days days. in the month of September, Lord God. Come on, clap your hands right now because God has aligned our soul. God has caused us to prosper in our soul, prosper in our mind, prosper in our emotions, prosper even in our imagination, Lord God. We take authority now even over the realm of imaginations right now, Lord God. We thank you that imagination shall not lead us to fear, Lord God. We thank you that this month we shall not imagine terrible things and negative things and things of defeat, Lord God. But we take authority right now, Lord God, and we thank you that we're going to hope and expect for better, Lord God. We're going to hope and expect expect for increase, Lord God. We're going to hope and expect those things that are praiseworthy, Lord God. We thank you today, God, yes, that what we pray about at the beginning of the month, we're going to shout about at the end of the month. Hallelujah. What we pray about at the beginning of the month, we're going to shout about at the end of the month because what you have promised, you are well able to perform, Lord God. So we thank you right now, Lord God, for aligned spirits, Lord God. We thank you this month, Lord God, for focused emotions on today, Lord God. We thank you that today you're giving us strength, Lord God. We thank you for Holy Spirit right now. Clap your hands and thank God for Holy Spirit. Thank God for Holy Spirit. Come on. He's our comforter. Thank God for Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He's our guide. Thank God for Holy Spirit. He's our tutor. Thank God for Holy Spirit. He teaches us in the way that we should go. Thank God for Holy Spirit. He puts us in remembrance of the promises of God. Come on. Thank God for Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit, this month. We shall not be estranged from you, oh God, but you shall hear from us, Lord. You shall commune with us. 
with us. Yes, God, we shall humble ourselves and hear from you, O oh God. Hallelujah. And so we say and declare today, Lord God, that we submit to the leading and the guiding of Holy Spirit right now. You're going to show us great and mighty things. You're going to, Lord God, convict us and warn us all yes, at the God. same time. Yes, we Jesus. thank you right now that you're going to order our steps, Lord God. And when order it is we go steps, astray, God. when it is, Lord, that we've went too far, we thank you that we give Holy Spirit the liberty to pull us back. Holy Spirit, the liberty to come get us. Hallelujah. Yes, Somebody say, come get me, Lord. Yes. When me, I done went too far in my yes, mind, God. when I done drifted too far away yes, from God. you, Lord God, come get me in the yes, mighty name God. of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Restore me in the name of Jesus. Restore my soul, soul, Lord God. Restore my spirit in the name of Jesus. Restore my ear, Lord God. Restore your word in my heart, Lord God. Restore your joy. That's my strength, oh God. We thank you right now, Lord, that you shall restore. I want you to praise God because he's a restorer. Thank you, God, for being a restorer. Come on, he's restoring you. Amen. Before he give you your money back, before he give you your reputation, back before he restore anything in the natural he want to restore you come on shout it out restore me Lord Hey, God, yes, restore us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Because we don't want to have anything if we can't have you, Lord God. We don't want to have anything if we can't have you, Lord God. We want what you have for us. We want what Jesus died that we might have, Lord God. So we bless you, Lord, in the month of September that you shall restore, Lord God. You shall bring back, Lord God. And we thank you that when you restore, you're going to make it better than it ever been before. Hallelujah. I speak now restoration now over every ear that's listening right now and God says the spirit of God says when he restores he's going to make it better than it ever was hallelujah that when he bring you back the love that you receive from God is going to be like never ever before somebody thank God for restoration tonight Oh, yes, yes. God says, when I restore, I make it better. When I restore, I improve. When I restore, I upgrade. When I restore, I, God, I make it more progressive and profitable. I hear the Lord saying that this month he shall restore and it shall be better. Amen. He says he shall restore and it shall be better. I don't know what you need God to restore. Oh, but tonight while we in prayer, you ain't got to wait till he he does it, but you got to thank God right now. Yes, that thing that God says, I'm going to restore it and I'm going to make it so much better. Whatever the enemy has attacked, God says, I'm going to restore it and I'm going to make it so much better. Whatever it is that we have fumbled and failed at, God says, I'm going to restore it and I'm going to make it so much better. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise today because he's making it better. Hallelujah. He's making it better, Lord God. He's making it more complete, Lord God. He's going to fulfill us in it, Lord God. So we thank you right now. Yes, he's a restorer. Put that in the comments. If you're watching online, God is going to restore. If you're in the live sanctuary, come on. I need you to prophesy to someone today. I need you to let them know God is restoring in the month of September. Come on, lay your hands on somebody. Point your finger at somebody. Tag somebody in the comments and let them know God is restoring in September. Amen. I hear the Lord saying he's restoring some money. Amen. That God says the stuff you've been waiting on, God says it's going to be restored. The thing that's been held up, Lord God says, it shall be restored. Lay your hands on somebody. Tag somebody that you see in the comments, in the chat and tell them God is restoring. God is restoring. No, you got to get out from where you are. You got to walk around. The Spirit of God is speaking right now and saying he's going to multiply it. He's speaking right now and saying he's going to increase it. To those of you who haven't slept, he's restoring your sleep. To those of you who have lost rest in your spirit, he's restoring rest. To those of you that lost health in your body, he is restoring health. God says, I'm going to make it better better than it's ever been before. I'm going to lift your head above all your enemies. I'm restoring your confidence. Yes, God. And now you're going to be able to stand and speak the promises of God. Yes, he's going to restore everything that the enemy came to steal. Thank you, Lord. 
Yes. Yes. Come on, while the Spirit of God gives you utterance, I want you to prophesy. Come on, while the Spirit of God, the Spirit of grace is giving you utterance, I want you to declare it tonight. He's restoring some stuff for me. He's restoring some stuff for you. Yes. And all of it ain't going to be material. All of it ain't going to be what you could calculate on a, on, on, on paper. God is saying some stuff, you're going to know God did it. Because he's going to do it from the inside out. Hallelujah. He's restoring your contentment. He's restoring your hope. Amen. Yes. Some of you, the devil's been attacking your faith and you haven't had the strength and the ability and capacity to walk faith like you once did. God says, I'm restoring your faith. Amen. He says, I'm restoring it as when you were in your youthful days in God. When you believe God for everything. When you believe God could do everything. When you had radical faith. Hallelujah. He says, I am restoring unto you a greater faith. Hallelujah. So we thank you today, Lord God. Yes, that you are our high priest. We thank you today that you're making intercessions for us. We thank you that you're sitting at the right hand of the Father and you're mentioning our names, Lord God. And so we thank you and we bless you for that even on today, Lord God. I thank you that whatever we have to face this month, we thank you right now that you're giving us the strength for it. You're giving us the grace for it, Lord God. You're giving us the wisdom for it even now. You're giving us the perspective for Lord, even now, Lord God, we thank you right now that we shall not get ahead of you, oh God. We shall not get behind you, Lord God, but we're going to be right on pace. We're going to be right in alignment with you, Lord God. So we thank you today, Lord God, where we come against anxiousness, Lord God. We thank you that we're coming against antsiness in the spirit, Lord God. We're not going to try to get ahead of you, Lord God, but we're going to wait on you, Lord God. We're going to believe in you, Lord God. We're going to stand in faith, Lord, confess him what it is that you have spoken to us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that better is on the way for us. We thank you for better now. We thank you for better now. We thank you for better now. We thank you for better days for the city of Hammond, Lord God. We thank you for better days, hallelujah, for the city of Bogalusa, Lord God. We thank you for better days, Lord, for the city of Punchatula, Lord God. We thank you for better days for this parish, Lord God. We thank you for better days for Louisiana, Lord God. We thank you that we're not going to lose hope, Lord God. We don't believe in politicians. We don't believe in policies. We believe the Spirit of God will use who he will to turn the tables, Lord. God. So we say, Spirit of the living God, move in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore in the mighty name of Jesus. Blow on us, Lord God. Breathe on us right now, Lord God. Fill us now with your Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. And God, as we seek you, Lord God, we come against a spirit of that's enough, Lord God. We come against a settling spirit, Lord God. Father, we shall no longer give our best energy and our best sacrifice to other things and to idols, Lord God, and give you leftovers, Lord God. We want to give you the best of us. Hallelujah. We say today, Lord God, take our lives, Lord God. We don't want to give the best of us to a job or to a business or to a career, Lord God. Our life is in your hand, Lord God. You are the master. You are the potter. We are the clay, Lord God. Mold us any way that you want to mold us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for restoring our form. Yes, God. Hallelujah, glory. Lay hands on somebody. Put it in the comments. Say, God is restoring your form. Amen. Come on, tell him he's restoring your spiritual posture. Amen. Come on, say it. He's restoring your spiritual posture. Lay hands on somebody's back. Say, he's restoring your spiritual posture. Yes. He's giving you your prayer posture back. Amen. Some of you, he's giving you your praise posture back. Some of you, you're going to be praising him in the shower. You're going to be praising him early in the morning. You're going to begin to rise up before everybody else in the house, and you're going to get your form back. You're going to get your posture back. You ain't going to have to wait till you come to church, but when I come to church, I'm going to already be on fire because I got my posture back. I got better now. Yes, I got a revelation now, Lord God. I have a stirring in my spirit, Lord God. We thank you for it even now, Lord God. Yes, God. And we take this time out now, Lord God, to cast any cares to you, Lord God, to stand in the gap for those who we've been carrying in the spirit right now. Come on, those of you that's been carrying somebody in the spirit right now, I want you to lift their name up in the atmosphere now. Yes, God. Come on, I want you to begin 
begin to tell God right now, yes, God, do better for them. Yes, God. Restore them, Lord God. Yes, increase them, Lord God. Yes, I thank you for re reconciling them right now. Come on, pray for that marriage that God has had you carrying. Yes, come on, lift that right now unto the Lord. Yes, those friends that you have, those relatives that you have, those single folks that you've been praying for, those teenagers that you've been lifting up before the Lord. We speak Hebrews 8 and 6 over their life that God has a far better covenant in Jesus. God has far better promises in Jesus. We speak now, yes, the revelation of the grace of Jesus Christ over every person and over every situation, Lord God. We thank you right now that you have grace for whatever it is we face. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. You have grace for whatever it is we face. Hallelujah. God, and so today, you, we speak a grace over them for whatever it is that they're going through, Lord God. If they're drifting, Lord, we speak a restoration grace, Lord God. We speak that you're going to bring them back in the name of Jesus, Lord God. If they have blind spots, Lord God, we pray today, Holy Spirit, would make known to them what's in their blind spot, Lord God. And those strongholds shall come down in the mighty name of of Jesus, Lord God. We lift them for you today. Hallelujah. We get in between, Lord God, hallelujah, the person and heaven, and we intercede right now, and we point your Thank finger God. at the problem. We plead the blood of Jesus, thank Lord God. God. We glorify you, and we, we thank you even now, Lord God. God. Some have been drifting. Come on, I need you to pray right now in the spirit. There's some that let devil has caused us to drift. Yes, has caused us to walk away. Amen. And we're not using our gifts. We're not flowing in our anointings, Lord God. Lord, we thank you right now that we shall not defile the anointing that you have given us, Lord God, so that we can use it for personal gain, Lord God. But we thank you, Lord God, yes, that there shall be a restoration of gifts. We thank you that there shall be a restoration of ministry gifts. We thank you right now that there shall be a restoration of ministry gifts, Lord God. We will not, Lord God, let disagreements and disappointments cause us to drift away from what it is that you've called us to do. Devil, you are a liar. Devil, your plan shall not work. We thank you for restoration right now in the body of Christ, Lord God. We thank you right now, Lord God, that you're working a work in hearts right now. You're turning whole, a Holy Spirit. You're turning them right now back unto the Lord, oh God. We love you and we thank you for it even now, Lord God. We cover our ministry now. We cover our church now. We cover the, 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 the universal church, Lord God. God. We thank you that in these last and evil days, Lord God, that you're raising up a standard in the church, Lord God. We thank you in these last and evil days when we have been attacked in so many ways and when we have been deceived in so many ways that you're raising up, hallelujah, a standard in the church, Lord God, that we shall be that light that's on the hill, Lord God. We shall be, Lord God, soul saving station, places where deliverance shall take place, Lord God. We pray for the church of the living God. We pray for the church that Jesus died for. We pray a return, Lord God, of your presence in the church, Lord God. We say fire, fire, fire. Yes, God. Fall on the church of the living God. We say fire, fire, fire. Yes, burn. Yes, in the church of the living God. We thank you, Lord God, that your word declares no gate of heaven hell shall prevail against the church. So we thank you, Lord God, that the church is fortified. We thank you today that the church is on a solid foundation. We thank you today, Lord God, that your future of the church is secure, oh God. We love you and we thank you right now. Hallelujah. Come on, I want to use these last few minutes. I want you to pray for the church now. Come on, I want you to lift up the church. Yes. Hallelujah. Whatever church you go to, whatever church you're connected with, whatever church, whatever you're covering, I want you to pray for the church right now. That's it. We're not praying for the man of God or the woman of God. We're praying for the church right now. Yes. We're praying for revival. We're praying for a fresh wind. We're praying for mobilization. We're praying for discipleship. We're praying for conversions. We're praying for baptisms, Lord God. We're praying that churches are going to be fortified, Lord God. We thank you that 
that churches are going to be relevant, Lord God. We thank you that churches are going to fulfill assignments right now, Lord God. We thank you that we shall not lose a generation, Lord God. We shall not stay stuck in tradition, Lord God. But when you move, we shall move, Lord God. When you say go, we shall go, Lord God. We'll release, Lord God, whatever it is that we're clinging to, Lord God. And we shall cling to you. We shall cling to your promises. We shall cling to your assignments that you have given unto us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that power is returning to the church. I thank you that in these last days, oh God, that over these last even four months of 2022, Lord God, that there shall be miracles in the church. There shall be signs in the church. There shall be prophetic utterances that shall be fulfilled in the church. I thank you right now. Wonders are going to be seen in the church, Lord God, that we're going to know that our God lives. We're going to know that our God is present with us, Lord God. Do miracles in the church, Lord God. Do signs and wonders in the church, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. We love you and we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. So we thank you today, Lord God. Yes, that as we consecrate in September, yes, as we consecrate hearts now, as we consecrate our focus now, Lord God, as we give it to you today, Lord God, Lord, we cast down self Selfishness, Lord God. We cast down now a, 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 a selfish spirit, Lord God. We cast it down right now. Come on, I know y'all ain't gonna pray for this, but come on, come with me. We we want we don't want to be selfish, Lord God. We lose ourselves in you, Lord God. Yes, God. We lose ourselves in you, Lord God. Yes, we lose ourselves in you, Lord God. And we say, have your way with us, Lord God. We want to give you a greater level of obedience, Lord God. We want to be available for you, Lord God. We want to be available for you, Lord God. We want to stretch out on you, Lord God. We want to testify of your goodness, Lord God. Thank you for platforming us, Lord God. Thank you for giving us ears so we can influence, Lord God. We want to testify of you, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you for it now. That finally, September shall be a month of restoration. It shall be a month where you are drawing back. It shall be a month where backsliders are going to feel comfortable coming back to God. We thank you, Lord God, that everybody that the pandemic made backslide, they're coming back to you now, Lord God. Everybody that the pandemic made to fall down, you're allowing them to get back up, Lord God. For you said the righteous shall fall seven times, but he shall get back up again, Lord God. We speak a get back up spirit over the church, Lord God, over every elder and every minister and every leader and every servant in the church, we call them to get back up, Lord God. Restore the backslider, Lord God. Put the ring back upon the finger and the robe back upon the back, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you for restoration now, Lord. We believe that it is done, Lord God. Yes, that everything that the enemy has tried to destroy, we thank you, Lord God, that you have the final say. Mm -hmm. Yes, come on, we're going to close with that. You have the final say, God. Come on, say it. You have the final say, oh God. God you have the final come on, say. come on. I need you to encourage somebody right now. Tell them God has the final, God say. Has the final say. Come on, online. I need you to do that. Say it. God has the God final has say. The final I know say. what you feel. I know what you think. I know what God you have reason. I know what the courts have said. But come on, I want you to speak it. God has the final God say. The final I know what say. the university has Please said. Lord. I know what the school has yes, said. Lord. I know what the doctor has said. But Hallelujah, God, we Lord. believe you have the final yes. say in the mighty God name of Jesus. God has a word for you. Hallelujah. Hey, God. I know what the circumstances are Hallelujah, speaking, Lord. but you have the final yes, God. say, God. Speak, Lord. Hallelujah. And when you decree a thing, it shall not come Hallelujah, back to you, Lord. God. When you would decree a thing, it shall not come back to you void. So we thank you for everything that you have decreed. We thank you for a better covenant and better yes, promises. God. Come on, as we close out tonight, say a better covenant. Better covenant. Better promises. Better promises. Say a better covenant. Better covenant. Better promises. Better promises. So we let go of the old way of thinking, Lord God. Yes, God. We let go of the old covenant, Lord God. Yes. 
We let go of a cursed mentality, Lord God. And we receive the blessings of God through Jesus Christ today. We love you, Lord God, and we thank you right now. We thank you for a victorious month, Lord God. We thank you that September is going to be a month where souls get saved. We thank you that September is a month where the wind is going to be at our back, Lord God. We thank you that September is going to be the month where our ceiling is going to become our floor, Lord God. We thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that it's already done in this miraculous name, Lord, we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, let's shout because our God is a God that still speaks. Let's shout because our God is a God that still speaks. Come on, shout right now. Some of you, the devil was on your back. Now he's under your feet. Amen. Come on, I want you to give God praise tonight. Come on, I want you to stump your feet because that's where the devil is. I want you to stump your feet because that's where the devil is. Come on, we stump every lie. We stump every deception. We stump every imagination that he's been giving us. We stump the devil underneath our feet. Hallelujah. We thank you that God is exalted. We thank you that the devil is a liar, and we are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, I want you to fellowship with somebody in just a moment. Tell her better things God has for you. Amen. Come on, tell them better things, better things, better things. Tell them you got to start expecting better things. Not negative things. Amen. Not things of defeat. Come on, tell them better things, better things, better things. Hallelujah. I receive that in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive that in the mighty name of Jesus. A better outcome. Amen. Better results. Hallelujah. I thank you right now, Lord. A better understanding, Lord God. Yes. I thank you that the word says we'll understand it better by and by, Lord God. So we thank you that this month, by and by, day by day, we're going to understand better what it is that you are doing. Hallelujah. In the earth. We love you, God, and we bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm trying to stop this train, y'all. Oh, but the Spirit of God is in this place. Spirit of God is moving in this place. I'm trying to apply the break, but the Spirit of God is in this place. We thank Him for restoring. We thank Him for doing what no other power can do. Hallelujah. He is a God, yes, that mediates on our behalf. We thank you for Jesus, our high priest. What an awesome God we serve. What an amazing God. Amen. How many of y'all glad God still speaks to us? Amen, amen. Listen, if you're watching online, listen, next month, uh, first Wednesday of every month, the instructions of God is that we consecrate ourselves before we would go into our month. And I want to invite you, listen, not to just casually stream it. I want you to press your way. I want you to bring your children. I want you to bring your family. These 50 minutes, I promise you, won't set you back the whole week. In fact, God is going to blow on your life. Amen so that you can be refreshed, amen, you can be restored. And so I want many of you not to just settle. We thank God for streaming, for our virtual partners all over uh, the country, but there's many of you who can press your way, amen, and be in the presence. Listen, I believe that real conversion, I believe that real discipleship takes place when we fellowship, amen, with one another in the Lord. And so we thank and bless God for everybody who is here, but I just feel the Spirit of the Lord uh, encouraging me to encourage you don't settle in this season. Look at somebody and say, don't settle, don't settle, amen. Come on, tell them, don't settle with God. Don't settle with God. Don't settle with God. You say, well, I'm tired. There's a lot of stuff we do tired, amen, but we do it anyway, amen. Some of y'all was tired when you went to work yesterday, but you went anyway, amen. And so, God, we will not give you anything that doesn't cost us something, amen. So we thank God for that. Listen, we're going to lift up an offering unto the Lord. We believe that God is doing better in the month of September, amen, and we're sowing into this. This is what we do every first Wednesday. Uh, of each and every month. We give with intentionality. We give with uh, an uncommon uh, uh, anointing. Amen. And I want to encourage you uh, to do that even now. The Bible says in the psalm that I will increase you more and more, you and your children. I shared that with you on last month when we were in our, uh, on last Sunday when we were in our worship from homes uh, 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 service and I shared with you what the Lord told me. He says he is increasing you more and more, you and your children. Amen. And so I want to encourage many of you to receive that today. I want you to sow into that. The Lord is saying better. He is saying more and more. He is saying that the next move is going to be in your house. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. Look, don't start it. I'd have finally slowed the train down. Don't y'all do that. The next move, hallelujah, is going to be in your house. Amen. It's not going to happen on your job. Amen. It's not going to happen, amen, in any other place. It's going to happen in your house. Amen. It's going to happen with folks with your last name. Amen. It's going to happen with deliverance that's going to take place for your siblings, for your parents. Amen. For your uncles. Glory to God. Yes, for your aunts. The next move, yes, is going to take place in our homes. Amen. Somebody say, God, do something in my house. Amen. Oh, God, I feel something on that right there. Amen. Y'all got to come back Sunday. I believe God's going to speak to us. God's going to do something in my house. Amen. He's going to get your house together. Amen. Let's give. Let's give now. Let's give now. Of course, uh, there are several ways you can give here at our church. I want you to allow the Spirit of God before you would disconnect, before you would tonight go back to your car. So those of you in the live sanctuary, I want you to sow a significant seed tonight. Amen. Into the local church. Amen. That's what we do. Generosity is the way of the Christian life. Christian living is all about giving. We understand how to give. And as God motivates and leads us in giving, he says, you'll find out this secret of giving, that the more you give, the more you'll have to give because he'll multiply it and return it back into your life. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. That's the word of the Lord. And so every healthy church understands the generosity principle. We understand how this is connected to our faith. We understand how it is connected to our walk with God. So I want you to do that even now. If you're giving on Cash App, the information is right there on the screen. It's right here behind me. Many of you are giving uh, on text to give. I want you to do that tonight. Before you log off, let's make this a priority. God, I'm sowing into what it is that you have already sown and confirmed into my life as well. And I thank and bless God for each and every one of you that's going to give on tonight. Amen. Once you have your gifts in the live sanctuary, I want you to stand. Uh, we are going to uh, speak a word of the Lord uh, over uh, those seeds. I want many of you, as we are consecrating our gifts uh, here in the uh, live sanctuary, I want you to consecrate what you're giving uh, right there. At the top of every month, God, we're going to sow something from our business. We're going to sow something, amen, uh, from our paychecks. We, it's not the tithe. It's what we're going to sow uh, into the kingdom of God because we understand the principle that God gave to Noah that as long as the earth remains, there'll be seed, time, and harvest. Amen. And so we want your seed to fall into the ground and the soil of the local church. Come on, let's lift our gifts in the live sanctuary. You could do it there wherever you are. Father, we thank you now for uh, just giving us the faith and the capacity now to release. We thank you today that as we release today, Lord God, we thank you that it's going to be something that honors you, something that helps the local church go forward, Lord God. But it's also a demonstration of our faith in you, Lord God, and what it is that you're going to do in our life and in our month. We love you and we thank you that there's no lack, shout no lack, amen, in our lives, in any place, in any area, and there's no lack in your local church as well. We love you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have an envelope and you're in the sanctuary, you can come and lay your envelope on the altar. Listen, as we would depart, let me encourage you, uh, to all of you that's watching, 10 a.m. this coming Sunday, uh, you do not want to miss our worship service as we start a brand new month. Amen. We thank and bless God uh, for our opportunity to gather again. We were off last week. We were in virtual only last week. We are gathering. We thank God for what he is going to do. Amen. As we would gather together. I believe there's a move. Amen. That's going to happen. Amen. And then I also want you to mark off, and the Spirit of the Lord uh, pressed, pressed this into my spirit, and we're still going to continue and go forward with this, and I want many of you who have an ear to hear, to mark the date, September the 18th, that's the third Sunday, September the 18th, we're going to have our normal 10 a.m. worship, but God says to call the saints back together again that night, and we're going to have fire at the altar, amen, somebody say fire at the altar, amen. Glory to God. Come on, those of you that have, some of you when I said that, there was something that rung in your spirit there. God said there's fire at the altar. Amen. And so on that Sunday night, I want you to come. Uh, I don't know what the spirit of God is going to. I don't know if there's going to be deliverance. Amen. I don't know if there's going to be a, a, a healing service. I don't know what God is going to do. I know he told us there's going to be a fire at the altar. Amen. Somebody say a fire at the altar. 
Oh, God. Oh, man, I feel something on that. There's going to be a fire, amen, at the altar. And you know what, what God is going to do with that fire? He's going to ignite something on the inside of us. He's going to take the fire from the altar and ignite something on the inside of us. Amen. How many of you need right along through here, this part of the year, I need you to ignite something in me, God. Yes. Hey. Uh, and so I want you, listen, I want you uh, to be in the house of the Lord on that night for fire at the altar. I want you to bring your family. I believe on that night, as the young folks say, you're going to get lit. Amen. Yes. In Jesus' name, you're going to get lit. And so I want you to meet us. It's going to be a tremendous, tremendous uh, time in the Lord uh, at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. So so whatever you got to do after church, we're going to be out uh, right at 11.15, 11.30. Amen. And then we'll be back at 6 p.m. And I want all of our leaders, I want everybody to make your effort to be in the house of the Lord on that night uh, so that we can receive from the Lord. Can the church say amen to that? Father, as we would leave this place now, as we would log off tonight, we thank you for this time of corporate consecration. I thank you, Lord God, as we would lay down to rest tonight. Yes, we shall sleep. I thank you that wherever there has been confusion, wherever there has been chaos, Lord, I speak a settling now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We cast our cares upon you. We take the burden of life off of our shoulders, and we lay them at your feet. And we thank you, Lord God, that we have a victory in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Love on somebody on your way out. We love each and every one of you tonight. God bless you. Hallelujah.